It's been a month since a Rockford resident was struck and killed while walking home on Auburn Street. We spoke with Terrence Swain's family when it happened. They continue to grieve the loss and search for answers. Alexis Carpello attended a vigil held in Swain's honor. They tell you it has not gotten any easier. Yeah, they said it hasn't, Eric and Hannah. Family and friends of Terrence Swain gathered about a block away from where he was hit, saying this loss has been devastating to the family. Today marks 30 days that Terrence has been gone. Terrence Swain was struck and killed while walking on Auburn Street on March 13th. A month later, his family returned near the scene of the accident, lighting candles to keep his memory alive. So his presence is in this area. You know, he walked these streets every day. So we decided to, you know, bring him home right here. Terrence was a loving, a fun person to be around. If you ever met him, you wasn't a stranger anymore once you met him. Well, he was good hearted. Sandra Swain, Terrence's sister, is trying to help the family find closure. The way that he left us, you know, it was no, no, nothing. He was just gone. Terrence was my big brother. He meant everything to me. He meant the world to me. And to be taken like that, that's the hardest part. He was amazing, man. You know, he was a father. He had one son. He has three grandkids. So, you know, it's even hard on them, not just me. It, it's, it's the rest of the family is even taking it hard. Now left with a loss, the family is still desperate for answers. I was hoping it wouldn't take this long that the leads would pan out before now. We want closure. We want justice. We, we just want to know what happened. If you know anything, just come forward. Talk to the police, even if you're scared. I understand, but we want answers. We, we need answers. Investigators tell Swain they have some leads on who might have killed her brother, but haven't shared what those leads are. Hannah?